You might have heard the quote, the riches are in the niches, and that is 100% true when it comes to your Amazon wholesale business. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the exact method that I've used to find hundreds of profitable niche brands using a software tool that is actually pretty easy to use. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Corey Ganim. I teach other Amazon wholesale sellers how to start, scale, and manage a profitable business on Amazon. I've sold over $12 million on Amazon in the last seven years. So I'm gonna be using a tool today called Smart Scout, and they hooked me up with a pretty generous discount for my audience. So if you head over to smartscout.com, use code Corey25, that's gonna get you 25% off your first three months of Smart Scout, or you can hit the link in the description below. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys exactly how this research is done. So first thing that we're gonna do, we're jumping into Smart Scout here. So this is kind of just the home page, and we're gonna come over here to the subcategories tool. So we're gonna click that subcategories tool, and what we're gonna see is every main category on Amazon, right? So there's 31 total categories on Amazon. Let me see if I can even move this up for you guys here, uh, make that a little easier to see. So 31 total uh, categories on Amazon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start poking around into some subcategories. So there are some sub, there's uh, some categories in particular that I really like. One of them is tools and home improvement. One is sports and outdoors, one is automotive, one is industrial and scientific. And the reason I like these categories is because they're not sexy. They have a lot of really interesting niches that most sellers just skip over. At the end of the day, most Amazon sellers want to sell health and household. They want to sell electronics. They want to sell beauty. They want to sell pet toys, right? All these kind of sexy categories. When in reality, there are so many profitable opportunities to be found in some of these other more niche subcategories. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna come over here to sports and outdoors. And guys, I'm going off the cuff here. I've not done this research yet. I'm doing this totally live. Uh, so we're gonna do this sports and outdoors. Let's choose um, outdoor recreation. Let's choose cycling and let's choose bikes, okay? So right here, bikes is a $32 million per month subcategory. Now, within the bike subcategory, we see we've got a lots of additional subcategories. We've got electric bicycles, we've got mountain bikes, we've got cruiser bikes, hybrid bikes, uh, lots of interesting uh, things here. Now, actually, I'm gonna take a step back instead of looking at bikes as a subcategory, because most bikes are gonna be very large, bulky, expensive to ship, probably not profitable to sell FBA for the most part. I'm actually gonna come in here and click on uh, Let's see, let's look at accessories. Let's actually look at cycling accessories, which is a $12.6 million uh, subcategory, right? So we're gonna come over here to uh, accessories and we're going to see what we can find here. So right here within bike pumps, bike covers is a $1.1 million per year subcategory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the magnifying glass here and we're gonna open up the actual brands within this subcategory. Now, one point I wanna make before we drill into that is this column right here, the seller revenue share. All right, so I wanna pay close attention to this column because what this column tells me is that this percentage is the percentage of the revenue in this subcategory that third-party sellers are capturing versus Amazon, right? So what this tells me is that bike covers is a $1.1 million per month subcategory and these third-party sellers are getting 97.8% of that revenue. Amazon is only getting 2.3% of that revenue. So that tells me this is a very uh, third-party seller-friendly subcategory. So let's poke into some of the brands there and see what we can find. So we're gonna click on brands, and we see here we've got uh, 163 different brands down here in the bottom right within this subcategory. Now, there are a couple of filters that, or sorry, there's actually a couple of things I wanna pay attention to. So first thing I wanna look at is market share, right? So it looks to me like the largest brand in this subcategory only has about 10.9% of the market. Okay, so that's good because this subcategory is not being dominated by one brand. There's a lot of different brands here that we might have the opportunity to source. Now, another uh, column that I wanna look at is average number of sellers, and this is actually the only filter I'm going to set to find some potential brands. So for average number of sellers, I wanna set that minimum to two. And the reason I wanna do that is because I would want to filter out any private label brands or any brands that have maybe one exclusive seller. All right, so this is gonna show me 
brands that are more likely to be reseller friendly. Now what I want to do is actually want to sort by average number of sellers. And I want to see the brands that have the most sellers on average, right? And that is going to be this brand here, Fox Racing. All right, so Fox Racing on average has over nine sellers across most of their listings, which tells me that this is a reseller friendly brand. And if nine sellers on average are selling each of their products, that means they're getting them at a profit from somewhere, which means we likely can as well. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to click on the magnifying glass again. And we're going to open up the products and see which products Fox Racing as a brand has on Amazon. Now, I'm seeing here in the bottom right, Fox Racing has 3,382 products listed on Amazon. That is a ton of different products. So we want to filter this out even further. Uh, let's go here first and filter out any products that are dominated by Amazon. Because typically, as a rule of thumb, we try to avoid competing with Amazon. So we're going to set this Amazon in stock rate filter to be maximum 60%. Okay, so we're going to change that to maximum 60%. And you see that filters out some products, but not a bunch. Uh, but we're left with still 2,807 products. Now, what I wanna do next is I wanna sort by rank, because I wanna see which of these products are ranking very highly. Now, another filter that we can set uh, is we can come up here to variation page and have it to where we, we can see variation listings or we filter out variation listings and we don't see them at all. The only reason you would want to filter out variation listings is if you want to make uh, your research a little quicker, because when we're looking at variation listings, a lot of times it takes a, a couple of extra steps to kind of determine which variations are selling well. So let's click no there and see what we're left with. So we're only left with 52 products out of the 3000 or more from Fox Racing that are not variation listings. So I'm actually going to remove that filter uh, and see if we can take a look at some of the products they have here. So. First one I want to look at is, uh, let's take a look at maybe this one right here. So these look to be some Fox Racing men's Dirt Paw motocross gloves, right? So these are motocross gloves, size is double XL. And if we come down here and look at the Keepa, it looks like Amazon is on this listing quite a bit. So I'm actually going to go back to Smart Scout because what we want to do is we want to find products that Amazon is really not on very much so that we can source those specific products directly from the brand or from a distributor. Now let's go down here even more. And again, I'm kind of just poking around and seeing which of these, uh, I'm kind of just going randomly here and seeing which of these variations are going to make sense. Okay. So here's one that uh, has potential. All right. So right here, this is a Fox racing motocross goggle right? It is, looks like it is the, uh, the pink colorway. Now, a couple of things I want to point out here, which makes this a really good lead. First, the buy box is a third party seller, right? So that tells me that Amazon's not in the buy box. Third party sellers are able to make sales here. And we have an opportunity to probably make sales if we jump on this listing. Another thing I'm seeing is that Amazon is telling us that this particular variation is selling over 100 units per month. So I'm sure you guys have noticed this X amount bought in the past month badge here, but this badge is specific to each variation. So for example, if I click on the red, the number is going to be different more than likely. So this red variation is selling over 50 per month, right? Uh, and the pink is selling over hundred per month. If we click on the black, the black is selling over 200 per month and this orange uh is this orange white and orange doesn't have a badge so it's probably not selling as well as the other ones but if we go back to the pink one that we landed on looks like the price point is 34.95 come down here and look at the keepa the uh the price has been very steady so more than likely this brand has a map policy in place which states that you're not allowed to sell it under a certain price and it looks like that price is 34.95 and when we look at the new offer count here we do see quite a few sellers on this listing at any given time. So it peaked at around 16 sellers here. And as of today, there's only about four sellers on the listing. But the bottom line is there are multiple third party sellers on this listing, which tells me that we have the opportunity to source this product at a profit from somewhere. We've just got to find a source. So now what I would do, having found a really solid lead here, is I would Google this brand. So it's Fox Racing. 
So I type in Fox Racing and here is the website it looks like. All right, so this just looks like their website. It's kind of like their, uh, their storefront. So what I'm gonna look for here is this become a dealer. This is exactly what I wanna see, right? So some brands on their website are gonna have like a wholesale tab or a reseller tab or something like become a dealer. This is exactly what we're looking for. Our goal is to become a dealer, which means a retailer of Fox Racing products. So we can click on this button and find out how to do that. So I'm gonna click on become a dealer. How can I obtain information about selling Fox products? If you're interested in becoming an authorized Fox retailer, email your business name, address, and contact information to new dealer at foxracing.com. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna forward your information to your local sales rep, all right? Now, they're saying right here, who is eligible to become a dealer? So it's clear that they don't let just anybody become a dealer. So it looks like, uh, if you're, it says if you're a retailer who's driven by performance and targets consumers from any of these sports, then you will be considered to become an authorized Fox retailer. So basically what they're saying is, hey, we only sell to retail businesses that specialize in something like motocross or BMX or mountain biking or freestyle MX. So if I, as just any old Amazon retailer, reach out to them, the chances of me landing that account are slim because I don't specialize in those categories. So what I would probably do is I would reach out to this Fox Racing and say, hey, can you guys put me in touch with one of your distributors, right? I'm not interested in buying direct, I'm interested in buying through one of your distributors because again, the chances of me working directly with Fox based on this information is slim, but by asking for who their distributors are, they're more likely to give me that information and their distributors are also going to carry other popular brands in this niche for me to source as well. So. Right here, this video has been going for under 12 minutes. We found a really solid lead in Fox Racing. This is the exact method that I would use. I would rinse and repeat this across uh, you know, as many subcategories, as many niches, as many brands as possible. I would put together a list of 50 to 100 brands in a given category. I would call all of those brands, and if I don't get the account, I, get, I ask to get put in touch with their distributor. You do that 100 times, you're gonna be drowning in profitable wholesale opportunities. So again, if you want that discount on this tool, Smart Scout, head over to smartscout.com. Use code Corey25 for 25% off. It's going to make the sourcing process 1,000 times easier and save you so much time. Thank you so much for watching.